Now let's talk about conditional scripting meaning applying conditions to certain elements inside of your page in order to make them disappear or appear, depending on your data inside of the record. Making any element conditional is as easy as right-clicking on it and clicking on Make Conditional. This creates a new conditional script wizard and you can basically customize it to say what you want it to do. So here what we have is an action which is either hide or show, and then you select which data field will affect when it is hidden or shown. So let's say I say country is equal to Canada. What this will do is that any client that is in the Canadian country will not see that specific element or that paragraph. Since I'm in preview mode, we can see that it automatically disappears. Now, conditional scripts, like any other script, can actually affect more than one element. So if you're thinking, how do I create a global condition and then attribute it to different elements, you don't need to do that. Right now, this uh, script will affect one selector, which is the paragraph with the ID conditional script one. That was automatically generated. But let's say I want to affect something else, like paragraphs. Because the selector can select any element, when I click on OK, all the paragraphs will disappear. Another thing that we can do is use classes. So if you have different elements such as images and tables and paragraphs that need to all refer to this specific condition, you can just say the Canada clients uh, class. Then all I need to do is to add the Canada customer class to any element and that element will disappear. This is also good for, say, images. And that's it for conditional elements in your template.